all right guys so how do you install bash ubuntu into our windows computer this is a windows 10 i know a lot of people will be having issues so i'm gonna do it with you guys Free your body and your mind make sure that you have 64 bit windows okay if you don't then this is not really gonna work for you that well okay so the next thing that we have to do is come here search for windows feature on and off click there okay this is gonna open up let's look for windows subsystem for linux press ok applying changes it's gonna say we need to restart the computer all right guys so basically the computer restarted so now what we're gonna do we're gonna come here and we're basically going to search ubuntu okay now this is gonna take us to the windows store and we're gonna click get okay now the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna open this up i'm gonna pin this to the start okay pin this over here pin to taskbar so it's saying installing this may take a few minutes all right guys so now that installed the first thing that's gonna ask you for is a new username so you're gonna put in here whatever you want i'm gonna put in coding phase okay then i'm gonna put in my password password updated all right now the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna copy this see what it says here we're gonna copy this we're gonna say curl dash s capital l https colon slash slash deb dot node source dot com slash setup underscore nine dot x and then we're gonna do pipe sudo dash e well capital e space bash dash and then and here we're gonna basically say like this click enter okay okay so let that go okay the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna say sudo apt dash get install dash y node js okay it's telling me some error here let's see what's going on now to fetch some archives maybe run apt get update or try with dash dash fix mixing so I think this is one of the issues that most people be getting, which is something with the Python, Python 2.7. Okay, so give me a second. All right, guys, so what I did was basically, all I did was just come in and say sudo apt-get install-y node.js, and basically now it's running. So it's saying unpacking node.js, let's see how it goes all right let's see hopefully this thing uh works good i know now exactly what you guys have been going through on windows <laughs> this is a nightmare compared to to max like you literally go in there in mac with like two commands and you would have been set up already uh, okay guys so now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if everything is good we're gonna say node dash v and it says node um, version 9.11 when I say npm dash v and we got npm installed too so we are good to go okay now the next thing that I want you guys to do is go to my github so you're gonna go to github.com slash coding phase dot com and then you're gonna go to over here to this page it's gonna bring you to all of my repos and you're gonna click on the one that says starter kit 2018 
okay if it says 2018 2019 2020 every year i change it okay so it's fine so next thing that you're gonna do all you have to basically do is just click here click download zip it will download the zip okay now the next thing that we're going to do we're gonna open this up we're gonna say extract all okay there you go so we extracted everything okay now go to your downloads folder and you will see your starter kit folder 2018 now inside of it there's another folder called starter kit 2018 dash master which is the same name but that's the one that you really want okay so we're going to come here to our c drive so let's say this is your your pc you click there double click on your c drive and now you're going to create a new folder called projects okay click in there and then now you're going to drag the starter kit 2018 dash master all right now next thing that you're going to do we're just going to create a uh, basic project so it doesn't matter what project it is whenever I tell you guys to use the starter kit this is all the steps that you have to do but the only difference is that you just got to rename this to whatever the project's name is so if we're working on node.js name it to node.js if we're working on social media site name it to social media site so for now I'm just gonna call this uh, react um, react day okay so now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to come to our coding phase at desktop right so this is our ubuntu uh terminal so here all we have to do is come here and say uh cd slash mnt slash and then we're going to say c so c is your c drive okay now you're gonna say ls and when you say ls you're pretty much um, seeing all of the folders that are inside of your C drive okay so if I come here double click here you will see you got the Intel which is there you got Nvidia program files program files 86 projects riot games users Windows etc okay now we have this projects folder this is where we have our uh, starter kit for this project called react day okay don't focus on the name of react day it could be anything right you're probably seeing this because you're gonna start a project with me so don't worry about the name just name it whatever you want okay so for me I'm gonna go inside of the projects folder I'm gonna say CD projects so now I'm, I'm inside of that folder now I'm gonna say CD react dash day now I'm in there and then now that I'm in here I'm gonna say npm install whenever you see me say yarn run watch or yarn add it's the same thing as I was saying npm install or if I was to say npm run watch okay so I'm gonna show you right now so we're gonna say npm install and then right here is going to get all of the files I'm gonna post this alright so I just finished downloading all of the packages for this project and then now we're gonna say npm run watch it's gonna run gulp okay now we're gonna come here we're gonna open up localhost 3000 and there you go we have our starter kit up and running and everything is good okay now the next thing that we want to do is make sure we have a text editor you could use VS code you could use whatever you want me personally I prefer Adam so I'm gonna search for Adam go to adam.io I'm gonna download this give it a little second failed network error I don't know 
what's going on with that okay it's taking a little while <laughs> so there we go close out all the windows that you saw there and then just click here file open folder and then go to this PC go to your C drive go to your projects go to your project that you're working on currently okay and click select folder now the next thing that I want you guys to do is pretty much come here on file go to settings go to install I want you guys to install a couple of packages we're gonna say JSX we're gonna click here terminal this one platform your ID terminal install that one make sure that you are inside of the platform your ID terminal settings okay it looks like this scroll down look for shell override this is the default PowerShell we're gonna come here and put in Windows system 32 dash bash dot exe and pretty much we do that we close this and now when we open up this new terminal we are now using Linux bash right inside of our atom okay so we're gonna come here and just click ls and you're gonna see all of the files that you have for this project and what's cool about this is automatically when you open this it opens you up inside of your project so you don't have to actually go inside of each folder and be okay mounts slash c slash project slash react day automatically it starts you off right here okay now let me see another cool uh, package that I will say I will say pretty prettier yeah prettier for Adam install this because this just saves you from you know some code that looks ugly is just gonna be able to have your code really nice and pretty for you okay we're gonna test this out I'm gonna close this terminal that I have here okay I'm gonna click here press control C and inside of here I'm gonna do the npm run watch okay there you go we open up a new window and and here we are good to go okay any changes that we do is gonna show up so if I come here say localhost 3000 give it a second localhost 3000 is gonna take us to our project that we have running okay and if we want we could come here and do something like this SAS let's say background let's put in let's make it purple you know remove the, the things there save this linter and as you can see automatically it refreshes also one of the coolest thing about Adam is that it's one of the most customizable uh, text editors out there period so like, let's say you wanted to have something like autumn highlighter syntax you could click there let's say this is the dark syntax city lights let's say city lights UI install that go into your theme section and you could just change it from here say city lights okay this will change the look of it and if you want let's say for example the where is it autumn highlighter click there change the syntax okay we can also come here and click install and do some icons so now we can see some file icons install that okay we can also install this one city light icons if you want to have it 
very similar to each other okay click there see you can see there you go so you're pretty much ready to go and you can start any of my projects once you do this so yeah i know it's a lot but hey that's what happens when you're on windows and you know it's fine man and once you get through this whole part this whole process you never have to do this again so unless you get another windows computer <laughs> But yeah guys, I'll see you guys later man. Hope you guys enjoy this and yeah. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're gonna learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com, keep it real, keep it trill.